get in behind cars. G'day everybody. So for those that are new to the channel, my name's Alistair Bird and we farm here sheep and beef in Oxford, uh, North Canterbury, South Island, New Zealand. So we've got about 560 hectares here and a 65 hectare lease block just down the road, about uh, six, seven k's away. So today's job, uh, it was a month ago, just over a month since we had these um, ewe lambs in, our replacement ewe lambs, to vaccinate them with campy and a toxo and give them a drench. So today's job is to actually uh, bring them in again and give them their second campy vax. So they need one sensitizer and one booster, and then they need a booster every year. So these girls, uh, yeah, done pretty well over the last month. Been on some good tucker. So we're gonna uh, give them a second jab, uh, give them a drench, and then tomorrow they're off to the lease block to go on kale and plantain. And then they'll get mated down there on that. So we are just drenching and vaccinating here. Uh, ewe lambs, we're drenching and vaccinating some ewe lambs, the ewe lambs. And mum's drenching, dad's vaccinating. Teamwork. Yep. Kiwi farm of singlets, it's going well. That's good. Had some good, uh, good feedback from some people on these singlets that have got them, so if you want your one, link's in the description, we've got plenty in stock. Good. What sizes do you have? Uh, we have medium, large, XL, and 2XL. Okay. What are you wearing there? Yep. Alistair? This is a large, this one. So, so. Yep, Kiwi Farmer on the front, the Grange on the back. Kiwi Farmer, the Grange. Yep. Do you want to go show them Buttercup? She's looking pretty good. So. This is Buttercup. She is my pet. You want to say hi? Say hi. Oh, he's saying hi. Good girl. <laughs> Don't do that. Are you okay? She's going to be a replacement, yep. which means she's going to have babies. Oh. Good girl, you can go down. Good girl, bye. Just waiting for mum to finish, Jenna to finish her, uh, her race and we'll switch over and go back the other way. Then I've got to shoot the vets in Oxford and just grab some more. Quite lucky having uh, Having the vets right there in Oxford. Yep. So we can just shoot in there. It's only a couple of three or four minutes down the road. So, yeah, pretty lucky. It means I can be unorganised <laughs> and just go and get what I need when I need it. That's good. Yep. Apart from Toxo, eh? Apart from to Toxo, yeah. Toxo, <laughs> you've got to order. Listening. So. Got better, they keep, keep a lot of campy on, on hand, so, and all the drench we need. Well, most, most of the different trenches we need. Yep. I've done them. You come in this way? I don't know. So they're just switching sides to do the lambs so they all get a drench and a vaccinate. Mm -hmm. What's a drench for? Do you know? Mm. So they what, what can build up in their tummy sometimes? The Makes them uh, makes them pooey. Starts with W. Oh, uh, worms. Mm -hmm. The drench is for worms, and the vaccinate is for. Well, it's to stop abortion from Campylobacter. Mm. Yeah, that I had no idea what that is. Yeah. Stop them losing their babies. Last race full. Had some lunch. Then went and got some more vaccine. Take one. 
So just crushing a few of the dirtier ones. Generally, they're not too bad. We're just gonna count them out, make sure we got the right number here. Uh, truck's booked for 10.30 tomorrow morning. So 395 of them. Uh, Makes sense, I think. We've um, picked up one dead one in the paddock this morning. So we'll just let them out again, spend the night in the cattery yards paddock. Yeah. Come on, we girls. There you go, ladies. Just out the back. Got the block where the cows and calves are at the moment. So we're just opening up some gates, just starting to push a few through. And uh, start bringing them forward, ready for uh, weaning next week. So we've we've worked out who um, who's going to buy the calves. So they're going to go to Alliance. Um, they were the ones that came back with the best price. So yeah, we'll start bringing them forward, and then got to book in some scanning and TB testing and whatnot. Another 19 mils of rain. Not that we needed it, but... Hmm. Good morning. We uh, are just gonna get the ewe lambs in. They're heading down to the lease spot today, let them empty out for a couple of hours. And then, uh, yeah, the truck will be here and we'll be into it. This is easy. Lambs know where they're going. Get them behind. Uh, from Alfie being a doofus. Get in, Alfie. We've all got that one dog that thinks he knows everything. Thinks he knows best. Hey. Leave him alone. Alfie. Alfie. You're a little brat bag, aren't you? So we've got fruits here again, um, got Adam. So yeah, we're just gonna throw these 395 ewe lambs on. And then, uh, yeah, take them down the lease block and jump them off, well, take the ramp down, but just unload them straight into the paddock, going into a crop of kale and plantain. So the plantain crop's good, kale's not so great. Uh, we just had issues when we drilled it, so I'll show you that when we get down there. Down there, we'll get all these thrown on. We've got the truck and trailer full, just gonna let them pin them up. So it just puts a certain number in each wee pin and then shuts the door and then it'll go back and drop the drop the floors for the next level. Probably just use kettle decks, there's only not even 400, so they should all fit on uh, two kettle decks. Children's leading Buttercup up the ramp, being a good Judas sheep. Lucky they're not going to. Yeah, yeah. Come back, Georgia. Come back, girls. Chase the rest of these through. Yeah, well done. 
Come on, girls, get out of the muck. Go somewhere slightly drier. These beautiful girls running up there, quite lovely, aren't they, Millie? Are you going straight to the least block? Right? Yeah, we're straight to the least block. We're going to take the ramp down, unload them straight in the paddock, um, and then we're just going to come back. You guys are more than welcome to come, or you can stay here. Or... You want to chase that one up at the front, Millie? Please, run up there. Oh no, they're right. Come back, good girl. What's up? You might stay here and get the castle. Okay, that's fine. Sorry. They ain't good wheat girls. They are loading well, very well. There's no shadows or it's not um, too bright or anything, so they're, they're doing well. Is it better than the boys? Did the boys go better? <laughs> I don't know, Georgia. Are the girls better than boys? Mate, did the boys go better up? They haven't been up there. Ah. Uh, the, we, we loaded some last week on Friday, the, oh, some of the, the, store, the store lambs. Yeah. Gonna run up there right to the front, Millie. Chase those ones up. Did stop, they go? Stop them from coming back. Another way, oh, way. These good wee stockmen. Stock purists, people, stock ladies. All done, all loaded up. Off to the lease block. Oh, down here at the lease block, just gonna got the ramp set up. Just got the truck gonna back in off the road, and uh, we're gonna run them straight off into crop paddock. Um, yeah, we'll explain a bit more about the crop and what's in here and reasoning behind all this um, after we get them off. Yes. I really want to go in the first track all of the side, all of the floors. Oh, do you? I do. You come around here, Georgia. Go back there. <laughs> come back there. Yep. Good girl. Oh, fuck. It's very wet rain that we had this morning so it was causing some issues. Adam's all done, unloaded, and he, in she's in the ute. So Adam's all done, all unloaded. Yep, pretty real, no dramas there. So we'll show you this crop. Um, so soft gold kale and plantain. Um, plantain's done really well in here. Kale, not so much. But yeah, I think we had some. I don't think it was bugs. I just think we had some sowing issues. Um, yeah, it was really wet when we sowed it, and. Uh, November, I think it was. So, um, but this this will be fine. This will be great for these lambs, actually. So, lots of um, lots of plantain, wee bit of kale. If this was a complete full kale crop, I'd be very hesitant about dropping lambs off in here that um, were, you know, had spent the morning in the yards, emptied out a wee bit, and then put on here because they're coming on to here hungry, and you don't want them to gorge on a 
on a brassica crop but with the amount of plantain in here and grass around the edges yeah pretty confident we won't have any issues in here so um the reason for bringing the ewe lambs down here as opposed to keeping them at home kind of the same theory as selling those store lambs we um need to really prioritize these girls so they're uh, you know they are future breeding animals and they need to grow out as uh, quickly and as good as possible before the ram goes out and then even while the ram is out and then right the way through winter into lambing so uh beauty with crop like this as you get high mes the change in seasons don't really affect the amount of quality in the feed so <laughs> So the, the, yeah, these, these ewe lambs will do really well in here, they did really well in this last year, um, this kale and plantain mix, and then once they're finished in here, they'll go, oh, there's a paddock over there of just straight soft gold kale, which they'll probably go into there for the winter, and then we'll break fence there. Yes? Um, okay. Uh, so what else? What else? What else? Um, so yeah, uh, we're just going to lock them in this paddock here for now and then we'll set up a runoff paddock over there just through the fence. There will be, um, we'll break fence that so they can have a section of good of grass. It's, wouldn't call it good grass, it's just rough, rough tucker. Um, but no, these ewe lambs will be pretty good in here. We'll drop salt block off. It'd be a bit, be a bit wet, isn't it? Leeches? No, slugs. <laughs> the slugs? <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound very good. <clears throat> right, we'll drop a salt block off, load the loading ramp back up, and uh, head home. So one thing I should have mentioned is um, we're not worried about pushing those ewe lambs on that crop. Don't care if they leave a bit of stalk behind. Um, so one, we don't want to graze the kale down completely because it can still regrow. Still got a bit of growing to do. So late winter we could get another graze off this with the kale if we don't um, graze it down too much. And the other one was these ewes here can go in there and clean up any stalk. So that'll probably happen with the, the other kale crop. Uh, those ewes will run through there and just clean it right out. Make it easier for drilling. But we direct drilled into some kale stubble last year and uh, just to some Italian, but that worked really, really well. So we've always got that as an option. So, right, Alfie, get up here. Alfie, get up. Good boy. Just down here at the lease block, uh, that's the next day. So just checking on these ewe lambs, replacement ewe lambs that we brought down here yesterday. So they're all looking pretty good. Yeah, that's what I mean about the patchiness of this kale crop. Um, but yeah, like I said, just a lot of plantain, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'll be in here for a while. I'll just go for a bit more of a wander through these. And... Right, they look to be pretty good. Leave them there. I brought down a whole bunch of fencing gear to um, put a break fence up in the runoff paddock, but I might just leave them, leave them in here for now and just keep an eye on them. As they start to chew this down, we'll, um, we'll put a fence up so they can have a runoff. So back here at home, uh, just ticking off some small little jobs before weaning. So things like welding the bottom gudgeon back on there. So got that swung. Um, just got to shoot back and yeah, next job we'll be setting up the EID control box on the uh, lint crush. So 
So we've got the EID panel on the back, uh, the control box. Just going to set up our true test indicator. I'll find the directions from home screen, select settings, home, settings, next page. All right, if we go to away screen. around here on here so just got this all set up pretty easy actually just connected it up uh, connected the serial cable which is that one there got the EID tag so these are the these are the EID tags uh, from Allflex so yeah I just put it in front of the put it in front of the panel here Lots. So essentially it's reading it from there. There. So the the field of read is massive. So uh, that's where this tag came from, a bull calf. Well, it would have been a steer calf now. Uh, 101, born in year 22. Um, yeah, and then as we weigh them, as they come through for weaning, there'll be an average daily gain. Uh, account and an average for the mob and then we can draft them off but we're not worrying about drafting them at this stage uh Good morning everybody another day bit of a dreary overcast day a whole bunch more rain last night uh, once again we didn't need but oh well in here in the wool shed it's um about two weeks before the rams go out two and a half weeks something like that so we're just in here sharing all the maternal rams so we got the black faces back from the lease block the other day they don't need sharing but it's all these kelsos uh, i think there's one purendale still left in here from snowden station uh so i've done five i think five so yeah well um they're pretty hard going they're big boys so i don't know what that way but they're pretty big so we'll Check it down here and show you, show you one. Certainly don't claim to be the world's best shearer. Um, I did a learner shearing course back when I was about, uh, it's between you just after high school, so when I was about 18, I think, 19. And um, just been watching people ever since pretty much. Picked up another couple of tips and tricks, but yeah, certainly not a, <laughs> this is not a hard to. born in 2018 so he's probably one of the first Kelsos we bought from down there I think we've had uh, four different years from down there so three three to something like that um, but yeah he's he's pretty big and they're in good neck too so
Easy. You're doing well, buddy. Come on. So 13, Ram, Sean, yeah, it's not too, it's rainy and drizzly and crappy out here, but it's not too cold, so um, we might open up the shed and let them wander back in for the night, just until they get a thicker skin, but um, yeah, pretty miserable, we'll head in for some lunch. So a bit of an impromptu road trip, uh, got the girls with me, and yeah, went into Oxford to get some campy, because I want to get the mixed stage ewes, all the hill ewes, vaccinated and crushed up over the weekend. So they're ready to go um, later on the week or when the rams go out. Um, but yeah, there was nowhere in Oxford that had, um, well, sorry, there was nowhere, they didn't have any campy, uh, nowhere close had campy, so we're off to Little River, which is the vet clinic on Banks Peninsula on the other side of Christchurch. It's an hour and a half away. So we're gonna head down there pick up our campy and head back, aren't we girls? Mm -hmm. Yep. So right, out. thanks for watching. We'll uh, yeah, get this it, drive done and get our vaccine. It's a three hour drive there and back. Yep. All together. So back in time for dinner. Yep. Okay, see you later. Lovely. 
Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Peninsula. It's a pretty cool spot.